guys, Melik here. Today in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to do 3D slide in After Effects. So um, I selected my clips, you should have like two or three, I'm gonna teach you two ways of doing this transition. So let's get started. First you need to add S blur more curves to your clip. Then just change uh, wrap X to reflect and do that as well for Y go to 7 to 8 frames uh, be before the end of the clip so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 let's go 7 um, click on this top which for um, X go to the end of your clip and wait change this value to minus 500 then select both keyframes click F9 and just graph it like this And then add as uh, blur more cures to your second clip and also change these two options and now click shift X click EU go somewhere um, near the end of the clip and change this shift X value to 500 now select both keyframes click F9 and then go to graph editor and just graph it like this you should get like slide transition and now have to turn it like to be 3d um, there's one trick you just add optics com com and Session, just add it and make sure it's below the blue markers. Select ref reverse lens disto distortion and just increase it to like 50. Wait, let me change it 50. And now just copy this and paste it to this clip. And this should look like it's 3D. Look. So yeah, uh, that was for X slide. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it with um, like vertical slide. Um, okay, let's just um, let's just precompose this. Okay, so go seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven frames, and find blur more curves. And now click reflect, and now click on um, Shift Y. Click U. Go to the go to the end of the clip and change your value to five hundred. So both keyframes, click F9 and then just graph it like this. Okay, now you need to do it as well for the other clip. Just wait. Okay, select the reflect. Click Shift Y. Move your keyframe somewhere. Uh, near the end of the clip and now change shift Y to minus uh, 500 now select both keyframes click F9 and then go to graph editor and then just graph it like this I know it looks weird right here but it will be fixed with now that you did that just add optics compensation and just add it and make sure it's below click reversed and 
change the value to 50 and do that as well for the other clip and now it will look like it's a vertical 3d slide this is what we got so yeah if you want the project file it will be in the description so that's it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed see ya